All right, Josh, as you can see, today we're going to talk about percent and percent change. Uh, now, the first thing we have to deal with when we talk about percent is a little bit of vocabulary. So when you see a percent problem, the first major concepts that come to mind other than the percent, which you probably well know the sign looks like that by this point in your life, um, you also have to know the fact that when you deal with the percent, you're dealing it with the idea of part versus whole. Whole refers to all of something and part of course refers to the specific proportion that you are dealing with so this is just a portion of it or just a part uh, now the percent shows the relationship if I say that I have 50 percent of something that would be indicative of the fact that I have out of a hundred parts of it I have 50 parts of it so that would be 50 percent um, obviously that's half of it so we break things into parts of a hundred if something is two thousand units large we're gonna uh, narrow that down into the hundred part range or break it into hundred individual parts and see how many of those individual one hundred parts are taken up by the part of the um, or the portion that we're actually dealing with when you see these types of problems the most likely way that they'll be addressed is in one of three ways they will say, what, for instance, what is 50% of 200? In this case, you have a percent, of course, and then you also have of 200. Of is the type of word that you want to use when you have the whole. So I've got of 200. Uh, if I need to know what percent of 300, so of again, that's a whole, is 75. Now is generally refers to a part. So if you can find it close to it, it's probably a part issue. And the last type you'll see is 20 is what percent of 400? Should be a question mark, sorry. Of 400. Here's the of thing. That's the whole. And you'll see here the 20 is, uh, is, is right next to it. So this is probably a uh, part question. In this one, we have part and whole, so we're searching for percent. In this one, we have a whole and part, so we're looking for percent. In this one, what is 50% of 200? We have a whole and we have a percent, so what we're looking for is the part. You might also see, um, say, 15 is 30% of what number? And in this case, of what number? The of is here, but there's no number next to it. Here's your percent. And your is is right there, so the 15 would come out as a part. And then you obviously are trying to find the whole. Now, how do we do that? How do we come up with it? Well, you could figure it out you know, just using logic, or a nice little method that people like to use is to convert things into a pyramid form. Now, when I have this pyramid, I just draw you know, a regular three-sided pyramid. It actually, it's a triangle because a pyramid would have three dimensions, and this really doesn't. I'm going to draw a line right through the middle, and then I'm going to draw a line here. Now, what I need to do is make sure I have specific things in specific orders. This is a part area. So if I am given a number that represents the part of the uh, whole thing, then I'm going to put that number right in this section here. This is my whole, so I just need to make sure that I'm doing some sort of, uh, if I have the whole thing like I know what the total value is, I'm going to put the whole here, and this is of course a percent. Now, in terms of what operations we're going to perform, I'm going to put an X here for times, it's not really an X, it's actually a time sign, I guess I should use a dot, so we'll put them both there just so you can see them. Up here, I'm going to start doing a divide. So if I have to go, if I have a number and I have one here and here, I'm going to divide. If I'm going across, I do a percent. So as to say, if I know what the percentage of a whole is, I can figure out what the part is. If I need to go from a part to a whole, so I have um, uh, what percentage is 30 of 45, I'm just going to do a divide. And uh, same thing if I'm going in this direction. So let's look at a couple of those real fast. Per instance, 
A question might say, what is 50% of 200? Here's my is, so that would be where the part is. Unfortunately, um, I don't have any number there, so I don't have a part. So if I'm going to make my little triangle, uh, I'm going to leave the part area empty for right now. Also, uh, I have what is 50%, so I'm going to put my 50% right cha and my 200 I need to put right here so now I have 200 times 50 percent I have to be sort of careful I guess in this situation and make sure that I do know that if I have a percent and I'm going to multiply I have to either convert it to a decimal which is really easy to do or sometimes like on your calculator there's actually a button that will uh, do percent. So sometimes you can go onto the old calculator and hit the percent button there. The only thing that it does is take, if you have a percent, it will change it into a decimal point. You can't use it a lot. I really don't suggest you use it all that much because it just makes everything more and more confusing. And they're kind of rare, so I wouldn't really go for it as mu as with as much gusto as you may think it's really worth. So maybe you should just skip that button altogether. It's very easy, however, to convert a percentage into uh, a decimal. All I have to do is just divide by 100. So I take the 50 and divide by 100, and that turns into 0 0.5. So what I'm going to do, since there's a times here, I'm going to multiply 200 times 0 0.5, and my final answer is 100. So for my question, what is 50% of 200? The answer is 100. Well, that makes sense because 50%, as you hopefully well know at this point in your career, is half. So half of 200 is obviously 100. That's the whole reason that uh, twos and ones were invented. Now, another type of question, of course, that we might see. What percent of 300 is 75? Well, in this question, I have my of here. So it's right next to a number. That means it's a whole. I also have my is. So it's 75. So what I need to do is think about how I'm going to set up this little, uh, my little triangle here. I have an is, so that's a part, so on top. Got that going for me. Uh, down here I have my hole, so it goes right here. And I've got nothing right here, so my question mark is where the percent goes. Now, if I'm going from here to here, all I need to do is just to divide. So 75 divided by 300 gives me 0 0.25. Now, if you forget, uh, you have to change that decimal into percent. All you need to do to do that is to multiply by 100, and it changes it to 25%. You can also, of course, when you multiply by 100, just move the decimal places, 2 to the right, so 1, 2. And so my final answer, what percent of 300 is 75? 25%. And that makes, makes pretty logical sense. I can do 75 cents. If I have four groups of 75 cents, then I can make my way all the way up to $3. So that seems like a reasonable answer. The next question states, 20, 20 is what percent of 400? 20 is what percent? So I don't know the percent. Here's my is, so that's my part. Um, I'm going to draw the line, so I put my 20 here. And my percent goes in this area. I don't know what it is. Of. So we're trying to, you know, work this whole thing out. And of course, since I have one on top and one on the bottom, I'm going to divide. So I do 20 divided by 400. And that gives me 0 0.05 multiplied times 100. And that, of course, gives me 5%. No big deal. Let's talk about uh, one that I didn't actually make a little chart for, but I think is actually much better. So I'm going to erase this one. The question states, 15 is... 30% of what number? 
Now in this case, uh, we would actually I actually wrote this one down just a few minutes ago. In this case, I have a percent. I'm actually given a percent. So it's somewhat convenient in that respect, I suppose. So what do I need to do? Draw my line. This is an is, so it's right next to the 15, which means it's a part. Plus it wants to know the percentage, so it has to be that. And here's the of what number, so that means that this part is actually empty. I don't know my whole, so that's the question we're trying to figure out. And if you can see, this is 30 percent. Now, in order to do this, I have to make sure that I convert this 30 percent into a decimal. So it used to be 30. I'm going to move the decimal 2 to the left, 1, 2, and it makes it 0 0.30. Now, which that's really hard to see, so let me write a little bigger. 0 0.30. Now, since my times is here and my divide is here, these are separated by a division. So all I have to do to figure it out is 15 divided by 0 0.3. and I get 50. So, and I can check my answer if I want to. All I have to do is multiply 50 times 0.3, and that gives me 15. So 15 is 30% of 50. So this is my part. Here's my percent, and there's my whole. So since I was looking for the number, all I have to do is divide. It's a pretty simple setup for the most part, so shouldn't give you any trouble as long as you can remember how to set up the old pyramid. Just remember to put the part on top and um, the percentage is on the bottom, and or sorry, the percentage here and the hole on the bottom. So just make sure that you have that set up and you should be fine.